Today we are talking about and breaking down the haircut of Daniel LaRusso. Ralph Macchio, right? We all know the Karate Kid and uh, I'm going to take us on a little bit of a journey back at the time because I get so many requests about Daniel's haircut from like the original Karate Kid. And if you're not watching Cobra Kai, you need to. <laughs> uh, I literally binge watched this last and latest season. It's awesome and you know, <laughs> I think Ralph Macho in an interview said like, I don't know how many more seasons we're gonna keep going, but you know, it seems like it's never ending, but you gotta watch it. Uh, I will touch upon his, his you know, recent haircut in that series, but we're gonna go back in the time and start with the original Karate Kid haircut. And as you can see, uh, right in through here, we have the one in the karate tournament. So obviously he's wearing a bandana. This is like, this is the magical moment in the Karate Kid movie. This is where, you know, everything stemmed from. And he has his hair in the center part. And, you know, obviously wearing a bandana, you know, jumping around a lot, a lot of activity, the hair may get a little bit of a, a little sweaty, things like that. But it's clearly a center parting. And the key to this is, and I'll break this haircut down more and more, but you see the hair kind of hanging down towards the corners. And that goes to show you how long the hair is. So to me, because you're able to kind of brush the hair back a little bit, you need to have that length. And to me, the length is probably just around the eyebrow area. So you gotta have that length uh, in the front of your hair. So now let's look at a comparison between um, him wearing the bandana in, you know, the Cobra Kai series compared to, you know, the original Karate Kid. And really the biggest difference now with uh, Ralph Macho's hair is that in the Cobra Kai series, he has a side part, right? He's wearing a side part. The hair in the front actually has some length to it, right? It, again, it comes down to the eyebrow. It's the classic kind of you know, crop down throughout the sides and the back, but the very, very front part is much longer, which allows for the hair to kind of sweep back and sweep all the way over because we are going, you know, with a side parting. Whereas the, you know, old school uh, Karate Kid, Daniel LaRusso, you know, he's, he was rocking that center part. Also, I think he had a lot more hair, which is very common when you're a teenager. His, your, your hair is probably at its thickest state. So he has a feathered type of look. I don't think it's as long uh, in the front, but potentially, you know, it's got a similar type of length. It's just completely styled completely differently. Here is another perfect example of, of them <clears throat> right here with him in the Cobra Kai series. You can clearly see the difference and also the hair density. Obviously, Ralph Macho is older now. Uh, we all, our hair changes, right, uh, over time. And you could clearly see that Daniel LaRusso in, the, uh, in his younger years and in the Karate Kid, his hair is super, super thick. And it's got a literally a feathered, layered haircut. Everyone wants to know, what's the name of it? It's, it's a feathered, layered haircut, right? It's probably about you know two inches throughout the sides, throughout the back, throughout the, the top, maybe three inches or so, three and a half inches. Uh, maybe even four inches long, but it's all feathered. He's got a ton of hair, and that's how you're gonna get that volume. Whereas in his you know, Cobra Kai series, you can see it's parted to the side, it's cleanly brushed over, and there's probably some hairspray in it, okay? To me, it looks like a style with more hairspray than any sort of uh, product, right? Here's another, another kind of classic uh, image of him right in through here from the Karate Kid. It almost looks like a little bit of like a mullet, right, throughout the back, the hair's longer in the back. Um, and in this situation, the front and the top looks a little bit shorter. So you can wear this, right, if the hair is a bit shorter on the top, again, maybe two and a half, three inches long. Uh, and then it just, it's the same kind of length throughout the entire back, maybe a little bit longer uh, in the back, right? Here's another image again. I just, I just wanna really emphasize that the hair is all just simply feathered. He's got a lot of hair, but the entire haircut is layered. That's how you get that look where it looks like it's flowing back and flowing throughout the top. And you know, you could use a product like Tidal Wave and then use a, now believe it or not, I know you may think, but I would go with a vent brush, right? This is the vent brush I do sell on my website. 
It's the anti-static vent brush. I am obsessed with this brush. It's got the rubber handle so you can grip the hair easily, but the way you go about doing it is with the Tidal Wave, right? My Tidal Wave sea salt spray, which I just did a video on, you spray this on the root area, you know, maybe five to 10 spritzes throughout the entire head. And when you're blow drying it, you're actually like using the brush to lift at the root area to get that texture and to get that wave and that, uh, that flow and that feather type of effect. Cause this you're allowed, you can really brush it through and create that separation. Or you can literally use your fingers, right? You can lift throughout your scalp and your hair with your fingers and with the uh, product in while you're blow drying and you're going to get that feather type of look again right between the, the karate kid movies it's pretty much this very very similar haircut where it's just a nice feathered hairstyle show pictures of this to your barber show pictures of this to your hairstylist like they can see the photos make sure you have the right hair density you know ralph macho at that time in, in the original karate kid movies he had very very thick dense hair. So you need to have a lot of hair in order to achieve this. To me, it, be it works best on straight hair. If your hair is really, really curly, it's not going to look like this. It'll be feathered and layered, but you're just going to have a lot of curls. If it's wavy, yeah, you can get away with it, but he has, in my opinion, very, very straight hair, a lot of it, but just make sure you're using the right products, the right tools, and you have the right hair density and get the right haircut for this shape. If you are interested in any of our products, use code YouTube20, that's YouTube20 at shop.thesalonga.com, and it's free shipping on orders with a value of over $50. Let me know if you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.